ladies and gentlemen, on Facebook, you are not allowed to talk about vaccines. You got to be very careful about what you talk about. Well, then there is a leaked video of Mark Zuckerberg talking about the vaccine, which violates his own policy, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and play this for you. Just a small clip term side effects of, of basically modifying people's um, DNA and RNA. All right, I'm going to play that one more time. We just don't know the long term side effects of, of basically modifying people's um, DNA and RNA. OK, you heard what he said, right? So if you go on Facebook and you post just what he said, you would be in violation of their policy. So this was recently leaked. Project Veritas accused Zuckerberg of violating his own policy with early vaccine concerns. And as you can see, his concerns are just like everybody else. The vaccine was put out relatively quickly, and a lot of people don't know what the long-term effects are going to be. We've been saying that forever. So Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has banned from social media platforms any claims that the novel coronavirus vaccine alters DNA, although he himself expressed similar concerns last year. Project Veritas released a video Tuesday of Mr. Zuckerberg raising questions on whether the vaccine includes risk of side effects such as modifying people's DNA and RNA, as you heard in this small clipping. In July, during a virtual Q&A meeting with staff, I do just uh, want to make sure that I share some caution on this because we just don't know the long-term side effects of basically modifying people's DNA and RNA to directly code in a person's DNA and RNA, Mr. Zuckerberg said in a video. Basically, the ability to produce those antibodies and whether that causes other mutations or other risk downstream. He concluded, so there's work on both paths of vaccine development. In a February 8th post, Facebook updated its COVID-19 and vaccine policies to protect people from harmful content and new types of abuse related to the COVID-19 and vaccines saying it would remove posts that included claims that COVID-19 vaccine changes people's DNA. But he just said it. He just said it. Project Veritas president James O'Keefe said that the newly leaked tape showed Mr. Zuckerberg violating his own code of conduct and that he would be censored on the platform today for what he said. It is an interesting that Zuckerberg can, you know, so they're saying, you know, he, well, he pretty much owns the platform. He can violate his own policy. And I'm sure this is not the first time he's done this. Okay, so, um, all right. So as soon as he made up his mind or appears to have made up his mind, on the topic, he disallowed the almost 3 billion Facebook users to do the same. So he just expressed how he felt about, you know, the vaccine modifying people's DNA and RNA, but he won't allow any of the people that are on Facebook to express the same thing. Uh-huh. Mr. O'Keefe, he said, the rules for thee, but not for me. Strictly speaking, Mr. Zuckerberg did not claim that the vaccine changes DNA, but in a November 30th public live stream, he was concerned enough to raise the issue with the White House Coronavirus Task Force member, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Just to clear up one point, my understanding is that these vaccines do not modify your DNA or RNA, said Mr. Zuckerberg. So he's backtracking what he said. So uh, that's just an important point to clarify. If I'm getting anything wrong here, of course, correct me. 
Dr. Fauci assured the tech titan that nobody's DNA was in any danger, saying, no, first of all, DNA is inherent in your uh, nuclear cell. Sticking in anything foreign will ultimately get cleared. Mr. Zuckerberg responded, I'm glad we can clear that up. <laughs> uh, spokesperson Andy Stone pointed, uh, he pointed out that it, the July discussion came in the early days of the COVID-19 vaccine development and shortly after Moderna released initial stage uh, uh, trial results of its vaccination which used the breaking ground messenger RNA or mRNA approach. The COVID-19 vaccines were the first mRNA vaccines cleared by the Food and Drug Administration, which did so last year under an emergency authorization, unlike traditional vaccines, which inserted a weakened germ into the body an mRNA vaccine tricks the cells into producing antibodies. Medical experts have sought to debunk the vaccines, alter DNA rumors, which were evidently rife on um, social media. So they said all of that DNA change, all of that started on social media. So mRNA from the vaccine never, enter, never enters the nucleus of the uh, cell and does not affect the interaction of a person's DNA, said the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in a post that came out on November 24th, 2020. The platform newly issued COVID rules apply both on Facebook and Instagram, which Facebook owns. The latest Project Veritas video comes a uh, part of the guerrilla journalism outfit ongoing undercover expose on social media platforms. Last week, Twitter banned a Project Veritas account after a group posted a video showing a reporter accosting a Facebook vice president outside of his home and asking him uh, about the big tech giant's hate speech policy. Twitter told Project Veritas that the account was banned for violating the platform rules, posting private information, which have referred to background shots of the executive house, a lock on Mr. O'Keefe's uh, Twitter account was lifted on February 11th after he deleted the tweet, which he did on live video saying he was doing so against my own conscience so that I can utilize our uh, Twitter account moving forward. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So you see the double standards, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I, I don't like Facebook. And I think what really did it for me was when they turned Corrine Gaines information over to the authorities, you know, and she was ultimately killed. And Facebook very much took part in her going down the way that she did. So I don't trust Facebook. I got off of Facebook in April of 2018, and I never looked back. Now, I know a lot of my videos are over there. That's because other people with Facebook accounts are putting it over there. But I myself, I'm not interested in going back to uh, Facebook or what some people call Fedbook. And not only that, I, I've seen so many people get placed in Facebook jail for saying things that really was not offensive. So uh, I'm just not big on Facebook. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.